July 2020 is one of the wettest months in Albany, Western Australia. It also means it is the middle of mud season. The recent downpour has turned Albany Forest into several little swamps. For that reason, we're going to pay Albany Forest a visit. Behold, this episode is not for the faint heart. Alright boys, welcome to 4x4 Adventure WA, a bit of a late start, not quite late, but uh, looks like the, everyone's very keen to have fun. Uh, we've already finished deflating our tyres, uh, well you know, it's pretty wet out there and we want to maximise tra uh, tyre traction and obviously um, to do this is to protect the tracks too. So let's hit the tracks and have some fun. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is where we have gone to uh, in this trip. Uh, basically, this is Albany as you can see, um, it's, a, it's actually very simple, it looks like it's pretty messy in here, but this is, you see there are so many warning signs in here, these are all the potholes in the State Forest track, uh, and in fact this State Forest is called Redmond State Forest, um, it's just west of Albany, it's a pretty well known track in a lo uh, with the local uh, residents, uh, but it's pretty notorious with the uh, bog holes, uh, especially in winter. Even in summer, the, the tracks can still be a little bit wet. Now, so after this, um, this track, uh, I have to meet up with another mate of mine, and we head to this, uh, uh, this Mount Lindsay uh, National Park, and there are a couple of nice campsites in there, so we stayed overnight. Uh, and uh, in the second day, we packed up and had to this, uh, you see that, Possum Trapper Cave track, and it takes you to basically a cave, a, a pretty pretty good uh, scenic lookout point, uh, and so we wanted to, to check out and see how it goes. Now, back to the Redmond track. It didn't take long at all. It was only about 500 meters inside the track after deflation, uh, we already encountered the first major bog hole. It's pretty deep, eh? Yeah, the hard part of it is that end. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so how soft is it for you? Oh, no, you can get through here, you just don't want to go too far that way. Well, this part is deeper than the, the right side. We've made it through that, my damn it. I wasn't that convinced. So, we sent the most confident first. They just look a little bit too deep to me. Uh, the bloke tried a couple of times and also decided to give up. Um, so we've decided to take a small detour around the bog hole and proceed to the next section. So in the next section is a very interesting yeah, section. It's basically a network of messy mud holes or muddy trails basically. Unfortunately I lost some okay, opportunities to take some really nice video in this section um, because it was a little bit too hectic got stuck quite a few times got pulled out and uh, you, you kind of get the idea if you watched the previous Redmond video uh, this section is basically very similar uh, but it's, it's a wetter version of it but not to worry many more to come hey this rut is actually not bad This is drivable. Just very sloppy down there. I like a seat, pretty firm and slim.
So you see, um, what we are doing here with together with the Four Wheel Drive Club members um, is that assessing all the tracks to see how bad and how good it is uh, to see which one is actually possible, which one is not. Bit of a swampy area here, but in fact, it is the best track uh, that we can sort of pass through. Um, and also in the process, we are trying to remove any possible obstacles. So we're actually clearing the tracks for any other four-wheel drivers. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's right. This is pretty deep. Soft, I mean. You went the other way last time. Well, the other side, you get stuck and get water in your car. Yeah. Um, couldn't get it. Um, no, I, I have second thoughts. I'm not going through the same way this no? time. No, oh, come on, dude. No, the, it just got a little bit too soft near the edge. So I can guarantee myself going. Have you already gone through that pool? Hey? It's going to take the last one. Pretty deep. No, I wasn't, wasn't going through the deepest part of it, but I was on the side, on the, on the right side. Yeah, I'm having second thoughts this time. I'm not that confident. That one this time. Right before we enter the track, uh, there has been a bit of concern about uh, entering the tracks in the wettest season in Albany would destroy the rest of the track. Um, well, I can't say all of us are not responsible for that, but uh, the whole idea is to minimize it. I mean, the same thing happens to other tracks, uh, sand tracks, uh, uh, beaches, uh, sand dunes as well. But the idea is. You have to be. You have to learn how to be responsible for the tracks, and how to do that is to deflate your tires, uh, or at least entering the track without using highway pressure. Well, under my supervision, all the members did the right thing, minimized the wheel spin, got stuck uh, without trying excessive attempts, so the tracks remain open and the tracks are not chewed up too badly. Right, here we are in Redmond, uh, one of my mates, uh, Petro has got a buggered uh, immobilizer, so we're trying to get him home and, uh, and after that the trip will keep going. That's it for part one. In part two, I met up with my old mate Paul and then we head to a very nice campsite near Kent River WA. We stay overnight, have a really entertaining cooking section and then we continue the journey next day through Mount Lindsay National Park and visit the historical Possum Trapper Cave track. Stay tuned, I'll see you there.